Hey, what's up guys? Bob here at BP Fishing. Today, plans have changed. I originally was gonna come out to a river and uh, we had some pretty bad weather. Um, and now the, the river is trashed. This whole area here is usually just grass, uh, but now it's full of water. So the river is extremely, extremely high, kind of trashed. You really can't get to it. So my plans have changed. We're gonna hop back in the truck and head down to the honey hole and uh, at least get some fishing in. All right, we're back at the honey hole. Um, gonna start off by throwing swim jig with the Kitek swim bait on the end. Had success on it last time, so we're just gonna see if it works this time. So what I'm doing with my bait is I'm not trying to bring it real high. This water's not super deep. I'm just trying to go just above the, the, the ground and just tap it up a little bit. So I'll let it rest on the ground. Then I just want to go a few inches off the bottom because you know the bass are sitting right there. See, worked out perfect. Just a few inches off the bottom. He's not monstrous, but he's a, a nice size. All right, now if we're gonna see if we can get, just come right through this gap here, cast way beyond it, and then just kinda watch my line and guide it through. I do that a lot when I'm trying to get to a certain area. If I could find a small gap, cast beyond it, but then lay my line properly through the middle of it, you can actually get to areas pretty good. Sometimes you'll find a fish doing that. Sometimes you'll get caught up in the <laughs> in the trees. As long as you cast over it, it all depends on where you you lay your line. If you could see my line is literally right down the middle of those two trees there. And this works in most coverage whether it's reeds or trees or whatever it is cast high and beyond it there we go i don't know if i don't i, don't, I didn't hook him very well L another little guy look at that look at that there we go oh missed him might have given him a second too long must have been little but you see casted beyond that and I was just just coming through it and he hit like in the middle of that mess and I could have got tangled up on something too just coming through there which didn't allow me to get the right hook set but it's really just trying to work my way through here he's probably still there and may bite again there he is he's biting again there we go Yep, I'm just gonna let him swim a little. He's pulling the drag pretty good. Seems like a good size. Just gonna, gonna let him tire himself out a little bit. Bro, he smashed that swim jig. Look at that. He literally just swallowed that whole thing down. The size is increasing. Very much so. Another nice, beautiful looking fish. Super quick weight, 310, 308. There we go. He's pulling that drag pretty good too. There we go. that another it's over three pounds probably three and a half maybe look at that mouth so i actually had a lot of success with this first pond just going down one side of it 
there's another pond next to me uh, that I'm gonna go to as well. I haven't really fished it a lot, but I'm gonna go down part of it and see if there's any action going on. Uh, and then I'll probably just work my way back up the first pond, but uh, figured go check out some new territory at this other pond and uh, see if we can have some same results. There we go. Little guy. It's so funny. So, it's a bite from a little one. that little one. Oh, it's not a little one. It sure was biting like a little one. There we go. Come on. It was tapping like it was the littlest fish. <clears throat> and it wasn't. Look at that thing. That's big, dude. Look at that, guys. That's another big one. It tapped so light, I literally thought it was just a baby playing around. Gonna weigh her and get her back in. Four oh seven. That's technically my personal best. Four oh seven. I've hit four pounds many a times, or three point nine nine. But we're gonna take it off one more time. Four oh seven. See ya. Go on. Four oh seven. New personal best. There we go. Smaller, way smaller, but aggressive. Get up there. Very aggressive. Man, I've had them all sizes today. There it is. He came right out of there. Stay right there. I hope you guys, I hope you can see that on video. He was literally, I came right through this area and I just saw him pop right up. Another one, about a pound and a half, two pounds maybe. It's been a good day. I think, I think a fish has it in its mouth, literally. Ready? There it is. <laughs> Oh, dude. Like, we've gone through every size today. There's another one. There we go. That's a biggie. He's not happy. But the bite is on. Look at that. These guys are just kind of inhaling that freaking hook. There we go. Little guy. There we go. Another one. They're loving this crawl. Very nice. Talk about a ridiculous day of fishing. 
To be honest, those bass would not stop biting. Uh, I think I got a total of 15 or something. There's a couple of them I didn't even put in the video uh, because the video started going a little bit too long. But yeah, they were all different sizes. Had, you know, a little small one up to the four pounder. Uh, 4.07 pounds, new PB for me. I hit 3.99, 3.99 several times. I hit four several times, but I've never been able to push over that. So 3.07, you know, that's just uh, another fish. Another fish that, uh, you know, pushes that number even farther. One of these days I'm gonna get a four and a half pounder, a five pounder and, and beyond. But for now, I'm excited, I'm happy about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate you being here. Do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below. We'll talk to you soon.